I thought I would start today with a warning about cords under the sewing machine. So I tripped over these, they tangled around my foot, and ended up getting seven stitches over my eyeball. So when you see me, you'll understand why my face is a little black and blue. I thought about not filming today because I'd look a little different. But I figured, well, it's gonna take me a while to heal, so I might as well um, tell you what happened. I was uh, happily sewing along when I got my ankle twisted around uh, my power supply and my presser foot. I didn't realize it, and then I got up and they just yanked me down, and I don't know exactly what happened, but I hit my face on the floor and ended up uh, spraining my wrists as well. So it looks a lot worse than it feels. That's why I did manage to get some sewing done. I also cut my hair, so I thought I'd uh, show it off. Well, okay. I actually cut my own hair. I just felt it was getting a little too long. You see, my hair's not usually uh, so scraggly, but you know, my hair is thinning out and that's what happens when you age. But uh, I, I like a little bit shorter length, so I just took the scissors and lopped off the ends, and I feel like it's gonna be much more fun to play with. I wanna try some different hairstyles as well. And also, I'm uh, gonna visit my mom next weekend, so I won't be around next Friday, so this'll be like a double action packed update. Actually, there's not much to this update, so uh, I'll get right to it. Okay, so I thought I'd uh, show you some behind the scenes work that I'm doing on my, actually in front of the scenes because I sit right in front of this table. This is the, uh, this new look jacket I am doing. And so far I've cut out the front and the back. What's really cool about this pattern is that's the hood and it goes all the way down. It's just one whole piece. Well, there's two pieces two front pieces. But what I liked about it is that that hood is actually attached to to the uh, the pattern. I thought I would have to sew it on, which now leads me with another question. I had wanted to line the hood so that somebody mentioned that way I wouldn't see the uh, the back seam when the hood is open. But now I think I might have to line everything if I just line that hood. So I'm going to have to think about that a little bit, figure out what to do. And over here up top, I have my sleeves getting ready to cut those out as well. So once I do the sleeves, I've got the back, I have the pockets and a few interfacing pieces. So I should be done with cutting those out at least by this weekend. So I think um, this will take me a couple of hours to, to cut out. I had to play around with uh, figuring out how to place the pattern pieces because I uh, this fabric again is from a mystery box, a wool mystery box, so I, I didn't have enough of it. I really wanted to do that longer that longer view, but I wasn't able to, so I'm going to do view B, view B, which I think will will still look really awesome. Uh, I read through the directions, and they're pretty straightforward. There are some confusing bits, though, so I'll probably have to uh, think a bit on exactly what they mean. For instance, uh, the hood instructions, they say that I have to, I get the clip the neck, the, the neck, fold back the facing in half with wrong sides, and then pin the facing to back neck edge over hood. That's the part where I always get mixed up, when you have to pin something over something else. So uh, last time I made something like that, I ended up uh, pinning the wrong part and I couldn't quite figure out what happened. So I, I didn't do the layers correctly. So, so that's my uh, biggest struggle. Hopefully I can just 
think about what I'm doing and, and that won't be a big struggle this time. Other than that, it looks pretty straightforward. You just, uh, after you get uh, the facings done, you basically just uh, sew it all together, right? And then do a hem. So I'm looking forward to finishing this project probably by Friday, but I am leaving for Chicago Friday afternoon. So uh, family staying home. I'm just going to visit my mom. So I um, probably won't uh, show you what I'm, how far along I am until next week. But I'd also like to show you my next project, which is uh, the very easy Vogue. I've mentioned this one before. If, um, you saw my mystery haul. Come here. And this is one of the ones I, oh. This is one of the um, very easy Vogues I made before. It is super, super comfortable. So it's got princess seams. It fits me really well. Uh, the pattern goes up to a size 22. I'm sure I made a size 22, but um, the bust is a 44, the waist is a 37, and the hip is a 46. That's the biggest size. And uh, I've mentioned before, these aren't my measurements. The bust is, but I have a 41 inch waist and a 54 inch hip. However, this still fits really well, so I'm not going to change anything. Uh, I'm not going to change the size. The fabric I'm going to use is from my latest fabric haul. This beautiful, sandy, sparkly, black. Hang on, let me see. Oh, I thought something was falling on me. Wouldn't that be a trip? Uh, I wanted to give you the exact name it is. Which one is it? Brushed Two-Tone Hacky Nick Sand. And I'll go ahead and link to that in the description. It's from Fabric, Fabric Warehouse Direct. And it is this beautiful, soft, sandy... What is this? Yeah, I washed this, so I uh, apparently... Found another t-shirt. Ow. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this, this beautiful sand, sand and black, really soft fabric. So I'm looking forward to uh, turn that into one of these. This is actually a jersey knit, and it is also a, a fleece, so it's very soft. I wear it, it feels a little more like a nightgown, so I don't want to wear this one outside. I mean, it looks like a nightgown, but it's super, super comfortable. I wear it in the house and uh, I love it. So that is my next project. This, uh, just a tip on this pattern. It's super, super easy. It's got like uh, six pieces and this is one of the first dresses I ever sewed. So. Um, since it fits so well, I just felt like it was a really good pattern to start with, especially for a beginner. At some point, I'm not gonna be a beginner anymore though, right? Because it's been about nine months now and uh, I'm uh, starting to get pretty halfway decent. One of the things I wanna do at the end of the year is sort of show my progression of the, I, I still have those first garments I made and uh, it would be fun even for me to look and see the really crappy things I made and then see how I got a little better and see what I'm doing now. So if anybody uh, is a beginner sewer like me, I hope that would encourage you because it's, uh, it's not that hard, especially if you uh, ignore all those mistakes that you make. I still make a ton of mistakes, but I found that sewing is also very forgiving. So I'm not, uh, I'm not super critical on myself and uh, sometimes it's not perfect, but it still looks perfect to me. So I'm, I'm definitely very, uh, very happy. I don't want to emphasize easy if somebody else is like, no, then no, it's not easy. But you, you know, I guess in the grand scheme of things, when we try new things, uh, it, it, I guess if you asked me like six or eight months ago, maybe I would have said it was difficult. I, I don't remember, but now, looking back compared to the other things I've made, I, I think that I would still say it's not that bad. So I thought when I make this, I'm gonna time myself 
to see actually uh, how long it'll take me. It'll take a little longer because I'm dealing with little uh, wrist issues, but uh, maybe that's my handicap, right? So it'll be like a new sewer all over again. Anyway, that's all I had for this week. And uh, I'm uh, going to be out. So uh, my mom's going into hospice care. So it's not going to be a very fun visit, but she's a really powerful, amazing 91 year old woman. So she is definitely, definitely strong. And she's going to get through this last phase of her life very uh, with dignity. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Talk to you later.